Hello there, my name is Tales of Grim and welcome back to Delivery Man. Now, last time we played this, I thought it was going to be a short horror game. But then we went through like oh, this whole hour long ordeal. And at the end of it, I thought I had beaten the game, but it looked like I went to a new area. So I ended the episode, and that's where we're up to now. And I reckon we just get right into it. So we're an hour in, and let's see where this game is going now. This is actually really fun. Like, it's a very simplistic game. Okay, see so yeah, how we're here? So let's go have a look. All well, the corpses are gone. Oh, that's no fun. See, look at this. It's like a whole other area. And there was a note here, which means that the other people... This is the thing that made me think the game can't end here. Is that there's a note from the other people who apparently had died here. Tom's journal, which means they made it this far, so and they didn't escape. Simon has a maniac like delirium, trying to hurt Maria. Maria and I consulted if it's a good idea to kill him, but being friends for a long time, we can't do it. We locked him in the room and threw away the key. So one of these rooms is going to have Tom in it, or uh, whoever it was. No wait, Tom was the main guy, wasn't it? Okay, shotgun shells. Hello. Can I ban you? Sweet. Uh, yeah, we're pretty well stocked up. We, we've got to get... Sir, please. This is a fine establishment. We won't be having any of that here. I'm just chilling. I'm just walking fast. Oh! Well, isn't that nice? Uh, uh, the letter below reads prisoner okay what are you something is missing below is the letter that reads punisher so I need to find a prisoner and I need to find the punisher <laughs> uh -huh. red puzzle piece <laughs> okay is this just a maze house or am I learning something here? Am I supposed to be learning? Because I'm pretty dumb. I don't know if I'm going to be able to learn. Um, Shalom? Hey, I'll take that. Hello? Am I outside? Oh my goodness, what are you? Boom. 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 Just keep walking into my headshots. <laughs> hey. Thank you very much. Oh, I, oh, you're one of the two-headed guys. You're like the Demon Slayer Corp or whatever. You're with the Demon Slayers. Ooh. A blue puzzle piece. That's definitely going to be useful at some point. Nothing behind here. Oh. Alright, so what have we got here? Is that the prisoner? It looks like a thing I'd put inside of a plate. Alright. I guess we found that, but we have no clue how to get there. So we move on. Oh! Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh. You turned around. Oh, damn you. There we go. Please die. I do not like you. But why can't I reload? Oh, am I... Okay. We're going shotty on. Oh my goodness, okay. Please. Be gentle. Hey, a letter. For me. Why does it always look like the letters like the other way around? Like, I'm not spinning them, they're not facing me. 
Tom's journal number seven. On the night of the fourth day, I heard Maria's voice cry in pain several hours in a row before going silent. When I woke up the next day, something I didn't expect happened. You heard her crying in pain and just like slept through that? Some friend. Unless I like missed a letter and there's something like she turned into one of the monsters and he locked her in a room or something. Maria kills herself by hanging, yeah. I wouldn't say that was unexpected. I expected her to be dead, I just didn't know how. Her image perishing and always causing pain in my heart. I brought her body down and said goodbye. Now I have nothing to lose. And did I miss a letter? What happened to Maria? Is she down here somewhere? Oh. Hey, Bobby. Hey. That's actually pretty powerful. The how strong were those other things, the ones that crawled, that took like three shots to kill? Oh, they were like three shots with a shotgun, and these guys are one hit. And here's the other one. So one of them is the Punisher, one's the prisoner. A yellow puzzle piece. And a first aid kit. Interesting, I'm assuming something's going to happen to unlock all these. Huh. Well, I mean, I can easily figure it out. If it's four headshots versus one shotgun, it's just 12 shots, isn't it? Uh, something I'm going to be able to use these puzzle pieces on? Um, uh, uh, what happened to you, Angie? She's still breathing. Okay, so she is alive. How did she get down here? She's just always where she shouldn't be. There are no injuries. She, would, she wouldn't have been attacked. Then what happened? She's probably been in this house too long. Ah. Okay, that's her. Is she going to transform? Alright. I need to hurry up. you damn right I need to hurry up. Yes, save point. Uh, sure. Okay, guess we're moving on. Am I going to be using these puzzle pieces soon? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay, that, that's pretty simple. Do I need a select where it goes? Nope, okay. We're in. Then I assume I'll have to spin this. After all, it doesn't look like a finished thing. Can I interact? Oh, I can. Uh, is this one of those things where it's like you don't want any of the same colors touching? Maybe. Well, if that's the case, do you want to go... I don't know what to base it off. What have I seen? All that really makes sense is there's so many of these yellow ones. But then there's the red. It's all red. Let me see, is there anything to the hints? No? There's gotta be something around. Let me go over a quick wander back. Because I mean, I could brute force it. I kinda wanna figure out if there's any any like actual clue. Hmm. Let me have a look at this. Is there anything can't even interact, okay. Uh, not that. Okay. I 
There's a purple aura. But that doesn't really mean much in sarcophaguses. Oh. Oh. Don't see anything. Hmm. You know, brute forcing it is looking pretty good right now, but... I kind of want to just... I'll do like a once over for the entire building. Like down here at least, I'm not going upstairs. I want to see if we find anything. Uh-huh. This is somehow the hardest puzzle in this entire game so far. And it's like the first puzzle of this new area. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> if it's already this tricky. Like, unless I'm just stupid. Which is possible. But I just don't know what's happening. Alright, I guess... So how do we do this? We go... One, two, three. And then you're going to go... Oh! Oh, I didn't know I could... Ah, oh, okay, this is so much easier now. I know I know what's happening. Okay, now... <laughs> okay, I understand now. Oh, this is actually going to be trickier than I thought it'd be. Okay, so what's... Oh, yeah, no, this, this is fine. So, what you gotta do is that. You gotta do that. You gotta do that. Let me stop that. And we go... Whoop. Okay. It's so much simpler than I thought it was gonna be. I didn't realize I could move the center one. Alright, I thought there was a puzzle. Is that someone? Yep. I saw you. You creepy. Oh, you're wearing a jumpsuit. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ooh, hello. Kablamo. How many shots do I have? I don't have very many, okay. Let's just hope there's not many enemies. Ooh, uh, this looks a bit like a boss arena. Oh my goodness. What are you doing up there? You're scaring me. What was that just like phased through the wall there? Okay. It's never a good thing when they stock you up with ammo. Uh, can I kionk it? I can kionk it. Hey! New grounds. New territory. <gasps> Are you a thing? Damn, you think it just leaves. Ah. Hello. Oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Oh, it's a shotgun shell that keeps falling there. I thought it was something phasing through the wall. Um, yes. Ah, oh, stupid thing. Alright, where are we? Okay, pull a lever. Is this going to be in the back of that church? It was. Okay, shortcut. Don't suppose you've opened this? No, you have not. Alright. Where else are we? Um... 
Excuse me? It appears to be a large well. If there's a long enough rope, I'm happy to go down to the bottom. Oh my goodness, okay. We've been here before. We're already in the well, and you want us to go deeper? Oh my goodness. This game intends to kill me. This door is locked. There's a mark, some mark on the door. What is the mark? This door is locked. There is some mark on the door. Is it like a claw mark? I don't know. Guess I need a key. Uh, so if I go back this way then. Yep, so doodle. The one I'm looking for is... Oh, just out here. That's right. So maybe I should save. Yeah, I'll save and then I'll go check out that new area that I brought up by uh, skadoodling that door. The button. Hey, how you doing? What's you doing, babe? Don't mind me. Yeah, this way. Uh, which way should I go? I was feeling the right. Hey. Um. Do, do, do. Oh, it's one of the ones that returns all the adjacent ones. Oh, no, I almost had it. I do it? I don't understand. Oh, was the idea to turn them all on? <laughs> oh. I thought the idea was to turn them off. Okay. Well. That might have been my mistake. I thought they were all on at the beginning. I, th I thought they were all on. No. Okay. Well. Nonetheless, it's done. I like these guys in their jumpsuits. They're cute. <gasps> a key! A square key. Possibly for that room with this marks on the door? Well, anyway, we'll check down here and we'll go back and check if this unlocks that. Hey, another puzzle. Can I figure this one out? How to enter code. Select the desired block, press the arrow to move the block. The code will be unlocked when the yellow block is completely overlapped with the other, with the red dot, what? Oh, it just needs to look like that, okay. Um, Okay, there we go. We go down. Down. Do I want to go like that? And then... I might be doing this in the worst way possible, but... You know what? We, we try. Oh. Alright. Well, you know what? I don't know what happened, but we did it. Uh huh. I think we got another kablamadam. Yes. Reload. Not that I'm going to be using you very much, but. It's always good to have. Sweet. Oh, 
unlocked. So one of them is unlocked. That's the... That's the one just out here, yeah. Alright, alright. That's pretty good. I guess all that's really left is that key, which must go back to that door. Yep, punish a badge. That must go back to that door. It must. I don't care. It has to. Um, there we go. And away we go. Uh, it was this way, correct? I don't really know. My way around here is actually really difficult. Because you get so used to the upstairs floor. Then you come down here, it's all twisty twerby. I think. No, it wasn't this way, it was this way. Yeah, it was this way. Hello! How are you doing? I unlocked the door. Oh dear. Maybe avert your eyes, I don't know. Oh, no, that's nothing. Oh, I say point, that's never a good thing. First aid kit. Ammo. Alright, give it to me. Where's the enemy? I don't like it, they're giving me shells. A lot of shells. And there doesn't seem to be any enemy. Oh no. Oh, this is how I die. Okay. Maria, Maria, Maria. Maria's note. Tom, I am really sorry. I couldn't stand this torment any longer. Forgive me. Maria. Yep. Hey. Uh, is that what happens to people who die by, uh, you know, oh, your head's hard to hit? Oh, am I dead instantly? No. Oh, I can't get out of here, can I? Okay. Yeah, her head's a little bit hard to hit. But you know, I think I'm going to go for the handgun, actually. <laughs> I think the handgun has better accuracy. I'm liking that there's at least a sort of boss battle, because this is good, it's like, not difficult, but it's better, it's less easy. And let's, uh, yeah, let's go for handgun. I think if I feel like I can make a shot with a shotgun, swap to it. I wish it was like a quick swap. Uh, are you telling me I'm going to need a shotgun? <laughs> Alright. I'm going to save. <laughs> I have complete confidence in my ability to beat this on the first try. Ignoring the other first try. Just cause... I'm going to save. Let's go. Bring it on, Maria. You ain't got nothing. Nothing. You walk so slow. You can never catch me. Never in a million years. Just look at you. You the stupid snake neck. It's the only thing got you got going for you is that you can't be killed otherwise. What? You're really getting on my nerves, Maria. Please be nice to me. I'm only trying. Fine, shotgun. Woo. 
so glad I can run and reload. It's so handy. Oh my goodness. How much health do you have? Are you special? Hey! Sorry to do you like that, Maria, but... Oh. Somebody's a little, uh... Sprung. It looks like her neck is made out of from rope. Ugh, that's very disturbing. But also... Would that be the effect? Or would someone have done that to her? Like, would Tom have gone mad and, like, ripped her neck off and, like, just put rope in between? Or is it just because she hung herself that this happened? She might be Maria. Oh. Oh. I don't, I don't know about that one. I don't think I would just rip rope out of someone's head. No matter how much I needed it. I probably would. Oh. Huh. Alrighty then, I guess, I guess it do me like that. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Oh my goodness, where's the room with the well? Is that the end of this hole? It might be. Yeah, there's the well. Alright, uh, down we go. Oh my goodness, this is going to just be terrible. Okay, down the hole we go. We used a monster's neck to make a rope because it was made of rope. Yeah! Um... Why, why aren't I... Oh, there, now I'm stepping. Oh! Hello. But yeah. Uh... Please, no jumping. No one else? Oh, that's surprising. Uh, score on balomp. Yeah, I did that. With my mind. Well, I guess I'm out of here. See y'all later. You don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what I'm up to. I'm out of here. You ain't can't, you ain't, you ain't can't stop me. Ho <laughs> ho ho. Yeah, hey. Whoa, ho, ho, in a bottle of rum. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Let me, uh, let me say before I do this. Let me say before I walk into hell. Mm-hmm. You doing all right? Yeah, you're all right. What would happen if I did this? I'm not saying I am. I'm just saying... Would all my problems suddenly disappear? Uh, yeah, yeah, I getcha, I getcha. Punisher badge. Hey. What'd that mouth do? I don't want that one. Why are you so... You ugly. Hey. Do I win? Not another boss room. <sighs> oh, I, I don't have any control. Okay. Tom's journal number eight. All my efforts... All my efforts, it has to end here. This guy's been here for a long time, until it transformed into something very strong. If I lose this time, may have, may have to become part of it, but I will not give up. 
I'll try to fight. If someone finds this note and still find is and still found it alive, that means I failed and became part of it. Please kill me. Oh. I didn't see that before it. Oh, please let me run. What's it gonna take to kill you? Where's your head? Oh, your head's underneath. Okay, how am I gonna get under there? Also, when I go into my uh, inventory, does the game pause? Otherwise, I'm gonna have to be fast to get my healing items. Okay. Oh, he's right there. Okay. I'm guessing that's his head underneath at least. Oh, come on. He stops every little bit. Come on. Please. Please. Okay, that was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Shh. Oh, and I'm healthy. I have so much handgun ammo. Why have I got so much? Okay, can I take your core? Is this the Philosopher's Stone? A marble. Well, what is it? Is it a crystal ball or a marble? I guess I'll yoink that and I'll place it in here. That was a lot smaller when I was on the ground. I'm sorry, what? Hello? It's Morse code. Oh, no, it's a bomb. Maybe I should, yeah. <laughs> I'm an acrobatic god. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh I don't know, is uh is Angie up here? She always seems to get away. <gasps> A phone. And did Tom make it in here? I thought Tom became part of it. Angie Get up my gun, right now. There's no way she's walking. Are you okay? I'm worried about you becoming a zombie. Just bites me. She just power slid to me. I'm sure she's a zombie. I'm still alive. What is that? A phone? Yeah, it's an old, it's an old rotary phone. Do either of you know how to use it? I don't know if it still works. It looks like there's a piece of paper here. This back door leads to freedom. This door will open when newcomers enter the house. When the front door opens again, this door will also open. In other words, you can leave this house by calling someone else instead. Ah. The decision is yours. This means that we want to leave here we have to find someone to replace us. Someone can get us, get out of here by calling us to deliver food. That's a selfish person. This house may be evil, but what drives it? It's human selfishness. Should we call the police and let tell them the whole story? Do you think the police would believe us? So what are we going to do now? 
Uh, do I get a choice? Oh, we called someone? It doesn't sound like we're getting anyone. But it did sound like someone picked up. Okay, that was the end of the game. Alright, that was really cool. I'm glad, I'm kind of glad it ended there. I didn't want it to drag on too much longer. And plus we got two boss battles out of that. Uh. Okay. Okay. Alright, that was cool. I have some thoughts on it. Maybe Unity. Huh. Okay, I have some thoughts to get to. I'm kind of glad, like, you don't really get the choice in the end. Because, you know, that would have been cool, but at the same time, it's a bit... I don't know, I feel like it could easily lead it to a different conclusion. I feel like the fact that it was out of your control, the final choice, is kind of an interesting way to do things. It's like, the thing that's been leading up to the entire time is completely left out of your hands. Huh. Well. You can see the amount of times I was a pussy. Damn straight. I don't know, I was gonna go into this whole thing at the end, like... Like, do I call or not? Because there's two sides of it, which is like, you know... You, we're not ending the cycle, even if we don't call anyone else. People will still come here. I mean... What was it? Whoever wrote the note is the person who called us here, or at least me. But people... I feel like there was a few things that didn't make sense, because to if Tom died, then what happened to Tom's friend? They just said he was turning, and then he was never told or said anything about him again. And clearly people called, because they got me and they got her here over two days, which means there's usually a lot more living people running around here. So even if we don't call anyone, we're not ending the cycle. But I was going to say, if we did call someone, we're saving two people by sacrificing one. So I don't know if that's something to consider. It's like the trolley problem sort of thing where it's like, who cares about pulling the lever? Like honestly, who cares that you indirectly or directly kill someone if you're saving the majority of lives over one person or two people or whatever? then you're doing the morally right thing. You can go into the whole like, well, how do you measure a human life, the human's worth, the value, their contribution to society, but based purely on blank information, just two lives beats one life sort of thing. So I don't know what I would have done personally. But whatever I would have done, this game was incredible. Regardless of any choices or dilemmas morally or lack of morals that I have, this game is cool. I really liked it, it was like, actually a decent game. So that was Delivery Man. A good game, a good like hour and a half spent like, playtime, I did an hour and 35 minutes, 35 seconds. That's my playtime. That's how long it took for me personally to beat this game on my first try, without any information, without looking anything up. So that's pretty decent. Like, for anyone out there who wanted to play this game, it's not overly tricky. It's not overly like massive. There's a good amount to do though. There's a good amount to do and to have fun with and to enjoy. And honestly, I really enjoyed this game. Like the sound design was cool, the character <coughs> Sorry. The characters, the whole shebang. It was a really fun game. And I really enjoyed it. And well, I just can't wait to play another game. But that's but that that's but this was Delivery Man. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. See us.